Hi, this is Abraham from Bordeaux Tradition. And I'm here with all these four wines from Bordeaux, three red and one white for the tasting on Thursday. The first one is really typical white Bordeaux. This particular Chateau Janon comes from the heart of uh, Entre de Mer. The blend is classic blend of Bordeaux, the Sauvignon Blanc, uh, uh, Sauvignon Blanc and Sauvignon, and the sum of about 20% Muscadel. That makes it a little bit more aromatic than the typical uh, blend, which is Sauvignon and Sauvignon only. This is great with the uh, cheese, uh, nice with the white meat, white sauce, or by itself. It, since that muscadel in it, 20%, it gives it a little extra mellow and it soften up the um, harsh citrus of the Sauvignon Blanc. But at the same time, it's approachable, ready to drink, even though it's 2010 vintage. The other three are the um, typical Bordeaux. Two from different area, one just basic Bordeaux. This particular one is Chateau Gabaron. It's 09 made from 30% uh, uh, Merlot, 30% Cap Franc, and 40% uh, Merlot. Uh, this uh, Chateau Gabaron, it's great with um, red meat, red sauce, or by itself. Believe it or not, it's 09, but it's also approachable, soft drinking. Um, and it's a great value for Bordeaux. The third one we have is Grave, Chateau Hot Saint Vincent. This, is, this particular chateau is always uh, the end of Grave near Fort Ensel. And uh, it's 09 vintage, again, it's typical brand, Berlo, Merlot, Cabernet, and a uh, little bit cap front. However, this particular vintage is structured to age for at least eight to 10 years. And even though it's a drop, it's soft, like swan, nice, and it's really velvety on the mouth, and it's uh, with potential aging for eight to 10 years. So you have both worlds. And the last but not least, this one is Chateau Vezinari. This particular one is really powerful, powerful blend. I mean, powerful wines, powerful vintage, but at the same time, the history of the Chateau. Chateau Vezinari is right in Poussigan saint emilion and it's owned by uh, Dom, uh, Bernard and Dominique Besset. Uh, consistent, consistent, consistent quality every year, in and out. Gold medal, gold medal, silver medal, two gold medals in the uh, Brussels, the Concours Mondial, and um, you have a winemaker that doesn't cut corner. This particular chateau is, was from the early 1700s. To this day, it still exists and it's still uh, in the process, it's still making a good wine. And 91% Merlot, you don't see many Bordeaux unless it's Petrus that has 91% Merlot. It's so powerful, so jammy, and it's so tight. We had it last night and it was so, so tight. This is a great wine to age for at least 15 to 20 years in your cell. It's structured for that long. And by the time you're ready to buy that wine later on, it won't exist in the market, of course. And that should take care of it.